is your companion. As Muslims, we should look at who we befriend because they can either make or break your religion. The Prophet وسلم, said, A person is upon the religion of his close friend. So let each of you look into whom he takes as a close friend. How do we know if our friends were good? If our friends are good? If your friends remind you of Allah and they encourage you to do good deeds, to obey Allah, and they enjoin the good and forbid the evil, then they are friends upon goodness. They will be from the means of saving you on the day of judgment. Bad friends order you to do evil actions and, and encourage you to spread corruption. And they will turn you away from the remembrance of Allah. These friends will put you in lots of difficulty and hardship on the day of judgment. If you have bad friends, then you need to be away from them. If you want to be saved on the day of judgment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Fulqan, Beware of the day. The wrongdoer will bite his nails in regret and say, Oh, I wish I had followed the way along with a messenger. Woe to me. I wish I had never taken so-and-so as a friend. Certainly, he led me away from Allah's reminder after it came to me. And shaitan is ever a betrayer to a man. Shaitan will be the biggest betrayer. On the Day of Judgment, the Prophet wasallam said, The example of a good companion who sits with you, in comparison with a bad one, is like that of, of the musk seller and the blacksmith's furnace. From the first, you would either buy musk or enjoy its good smell, while the furnace would either burn your clothes or your house, or you would get a bad nasty smell from it. Ask yourself this question, are we the friend of the perfume seller or the blacksmith? Look around at your circle of friends and ponder upon your characters because, of, because our friends are the reflection of ourselves. It is vital for us to choose good companions. Allah says in the Quran, close friends that day will be enemies to each other, except for the righteous.